how to transfer money from your Steam wallet to your bank account. Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're tackling a question that almost every gamer has asked at some point. How can I transfer my money from Steam Wallet to my bank account? Whether you've made money from selling items or games on Steam Marketplace or else someone might have gifted you some funds, it is totally understandable it's for you to want to use that money outside of Steam. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Steam Wallet funds into real cash that you can withdraw from your bank account and how to do it safely step by step. Now let's have a base basic overview of what Steam is. Steam is one of the biggest digital platforms for PC gaming. You can buy games, skins, and other digital assets from here. You can look up to different games that they're providing you. But here is an unfortunate thing that Steam wallet funds are not officially transferable. You can't just click withdraw to bank account like you would on PayPal. That being said, there are still methods that people have found and used to indirectly convert their Steam wallet balance into real money. So method number one is to use a third party cash out service. So here's the most common workaround. You know, you've earned your funds in Steam wallet through the community market, maybe through selling CS, skins, Dota 2 items, or even trading cards. All of those sales do go to your Steam wallet, but to cash them out, you need to reinvest those funds into high demand skins or items and resell them to external sites that offer you real cash payouts. And those resellable websites, we're going to work around our way to it. We can do that on skinport.com. So first things first, head over to your account settings on Steam. Right here, we're going to head over to account details. And in the account details directly, we have our wallet stuff. Our wallet balance is zero but you have no payment methods associated with this account. These keep in mind that even if there's an option to add payment methods, with this payment methods, you can only add money into your Steam wallet from these multiple Steam payment methods. You cannot exactly... It's like you can put it in Steam, but you cannot put it out of Steam, all right? So there's no point in doing that because, I mean, a lot of you might argue that there is an option to add a payment method to this account. So why then do we need to use third-party apps? So let's head over to the third-party app that we were working on with. It is Kinport. Now here with Skinport, Skinport is this amazing third-party marketplace where you can list your items for sale. When someone buys them, you can withdraw the balance through PayPal or through your bank transfer, even through crypto, depending upon the site's payment option. Usually, unfortunately, there's one thing, however, I mean, you see a lot of people have listed a lot of these gaming guns, even skins and a lot of things over here onto this market. For example, they have these collectibles over here. Likewise, you can also, you know, list it out over here. And when someone buys it, you can ask them to transfer the money to you onto your PayPal account. The downside of this is that they have a small commission fee, maybe like around 5 to 10%, depending upon the item. And there's an important thing you need to consider while choosing this method. Like sites like Skinport do not ask for passwords, so they only require item trade through the official Steam trading. So you can enable Steam Guard Mobile Authenticator to make sure that your trades are secure. Next method that we have is peer-to-peer -peer trades. So for this purpose, this isn't something I... Another p way people would convert Steam wallet funds is by doing peer-to-peer -peer trades. Let's have an idea about what peer-to-peer trades mean. This is something you would essentially do on Reddit. It's like... In crypto, which involves direct transaction between individuals without having any other app or anything else, a platform to rely on. So only do this with people you trust personally or in secure moderate communities. Like most of the ways that peer-to-peer -peer trading happen happens on Reddit. So we're going to head over to Reddit. Reddit are Steam Game Swap. That is where most of the people are discard trading goods with active moderation and route systems. I mean, why you can't just withdraw from Steam directly is the issue that Steam does not offer any official way to convert Steam wallet funds to real money. So because it's not a bank or payment processor, so once the funds are added to your wallet, all you're going to need to do is uh, align yourself to Steam's policy to see that if they're non-refundable and non-transferable. So these methods are just like external workarounds that we have have figured out. So while they're commonly used, you're technically converting items, not the wallet itself into cash. So let's head over to this subreddit that they have, Steam Game Swap. Here you can, uh, after logging into Reddit, you can list out all of your skins and look for a fair deal that they're going to be offering you. Now, 
let's just say you have about 100 bucks in your steam wallet after selling the ghost skins you can buy a star track skin that's in demand list it out on skinport head over to skinport sign in or sign up and start lifting some sort of smgs or skins or all of these rifles and pistols and after that also make sure that you add in a bit for a higher price so that you can cover up your commission and then you can withdraw it for let's just say maybe 95 and withdraw it for 85 because they use some of their commission fees that's how you convert your wallet funds into real world money it's not instant but it does work now the pros of using these third-party applications are fast payout access to actually final real money and the ability to use your steam earnings outside of gaming the cons are that they have it's a long lengthy process and you'll have to wait or rely on you know people's kindness to be able to buy your stuff especially for having a workaround through reddit before we wrap up i want to take a minute to really emphasize why people is the key when selling your steam items for real money because uh, a lot of people get frustrated if their item doesn't sell within a few hours but that's completely normal okay especially if you're trying to get the best value possible sometimes it can take a day a few days or even a week for the right buyer to come along and honestly it's better to wait than to get your feet dipped into something that is not meant for you and to lose out all of your cash also pricing your item right can make a huge difference now on to the reddits area that we were on the game swap we were talking about you can price it very competitively so when you're setting like the price it's smart to quickly check what similar skins are selling for you can go to websites like cs.go exchange or even check recent sales on the other marketplace that we're going to be using like skinport we're going to be sticking to skinport but if you cannot find the right fed for skinport we can also head over to csgo exchange you can head over to this too and if you price it competitively, your chances of selling faster definitely go up. But uh, trust me, getting the payment notification after successful sale feels so much better when you know that you've got a good deal. Another thing that I want to mention is how important it is to protect your account and your items. So when you're moving skins around and using third-party sites, always double check with the legit websites. I mean, on Reddit, it's super easy for scammers to love to create fake Steam trading pop-ups or clone sites that almost look identical. And if you're not careful, you could lose everything in one click. So before you log in anywhere, just quickly check the URL and make sure you're actually on the real skin port, buff market, or whichever set you choose. And honestly, if you even have a small doubt about an offer or a random message you get even if it's just a small hunt just don't engage it's better to lose out on a potential sale than to risk getting scammed and losing your skins for nothing so be chill be smart and trust your gut while you're doing trades online and that's it now you know what real methods people use to transfer money from steam to their bank account i hope this video helped make sure to share it with your gamer friends and subscribe for more tech related hacks and tricks